Hello boys and girls and welcome back to Star Ocean The Last Hope. This is you too young for this and last time. Uh Raimi just basically came down with stone stone sickness. It's not all that pretty. So yeah, we're gonna have to try and find a cure for that. Hopefully there's a cure. According to Sarah there is. So Yeah. We're gonna have to do a little bit of uh, traveling, so Looks like stuff kind of happened when we were exploring around in this city, or on this planet, Roke. Anyway, talk to this guy. Oh, just finished fixing up the barge. You can hop right on now if you like. Next stop, the city of Astral. And judging by the girl's wings, you're certainly not an average bunch of tourists. How about I let you ride for free, eh? Just this once. Sure, go ahead and get on. Perfect, all aboard. And we get another long ass cutscene. Yay for long ass cutscenes in this game. Not my favorite cutscene, but eh. Cutscene nonetheless. Has Raimi's condition changed at all? She's sleeping soundly in the cabin. Limel and Bacchus are watching over her. They traded places with us. Her condition is stable, and, well, I can't say much for Limel, but Raimi will be safe with Bacchus caring for her. I see. Well, that's good to hear. We're really indebted to you, Miss Gerand. If you hadn't spoke up about the remedy, then... And especially after I was so awful to you the other day. Oh, it doesn't bother me at all. And please, just call me Sarah, okay? Thank you, Sarah. Hey, Sarah. Are there a lot of other chickens out there like you? I, I, I'm not a chicken. I'm Featherfolk. What? Featherfolk? What's that? Is that the name of your race? That's right. Sometimes people refer to us as the Sacred Wings. All my kin flit about the skies of our enclave with ease, but me... I can't fly at all. For me, these things are just a decoration. I don't deserve the name Sacred Wings. <laughs> what do you think? Are all the feather folk like this? Good question. We feather folk have had amicable relations with the king for many generations. When we arrive at Astral Castle, I'll entreat the king. He's very kind, so I'm sure he'll let us have the remedy right away. Does he control access to the medicine? Yes. In the past, the remedy was traded for very high prices. All the poor turned to stone, and the continent was facing certain ruin. But that crisis served as a lesson. Now the king manages all of the antidote, and sells it cheaply to anyone who needs it. Wow, he sure sounds like a nice king. Yes, he's a wonderful king. I'm sure you'll all like him. Look up ahead. That's his castle there. Thank God. Finally, Raimi will be okay. I was so afraid I'd made another terrible mistake. Edge, you're all going to the Purgatorium, right? That was our plan. Well, if you are, would you mind stopping over in Trop for a while? Trop? It's a port town on the west coast of this continent. In fact... I was on my way to Trop to meet a certain person when I ran into all of you. We've been out of contact for so long, and there's something I must discuss with her. Um, and who might that be? Her name is Elena Ferentz. <gasps> what did you say? Elena Ferentz, Mew? Are you talking about the great sage, the holy maiden, Lady Elena? Huh? Great Sage? 
When I was really, really young, I read about her in a picture book, Elena and the Feline Gourmand. What kind of book is that? In the story, the holy maiden Elena brings a gluttonous cat with her and goes around saving people in trouble with her incredible powers. Lady Elena was beautiful and kind and wise and pure. And she devoted her life to helping people, helping the world. What do you think? Honestly, I can't say. It could be nothing more than a picture book. It may have nothing to do with a real person. Or she, or she could be crazy it too. Does. Lady Elena really existed. She led a whole bunch of her followers to like save the world. Uh, this is sounding more and more dubious. In any event, this Lady Elena still seems to be alive. Hmm? Miss Elena is a seer with true powers of divination. She's helped so many people who lost their way by showing them the guideposts they needed to get back on track. People who lost their way. How about you try speaking with her too, Edge? You might find yourself feeling a bit better. That would be perfect. The Holy Maiden Lady Elena can see the future. It said so in my picture book. Putting that aside for the moment, Sarah is extending us her kindness, and I believe we should take it to heart. Only after Raimi has recovered, of course. Yeah, you're right. Guideposts. Hmm. Yay for guideposts. We need to get Edge back on track, shouldn't we? Anyway, cool. Hey guys, thank you for bringing our ferry in. Yay, new town, new stuff. I actually uh, went and looked up because uh, I knew I'd be should be getting uh, some new equipment here. I was planning on getting some new equipment, and I was thinking about this town here, Astral City. So, yay, more stuff that we can buy. Cool. So I wasn't that all crazy. But Anyway, continuing on with the cutscene, I think we have to put Raimi to bed or something like that. We'll be back as soon as we have the remedy, Raimi. Mm. Thank you. Don't push yourself, okay? Raimi, you never stop, do you? Really? I'm fine. After all, something like this can't kill me. Kill you? Don't say things like that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Raimi. Hmm, this is strange. What is strange, Miss Sarah? I'm curious about the rate of advance of the stone sickness. Her symptoms began with almost no incubation period, and now the rate of advance is unusually slow. Yes, stone sickness usually has a long incubation period, and once symptoms show, it advances quickly. Well, I suppose it doesn't matter as long as she's cured. Then I'd have preferred you not mention it at all. Now, now, now. Off to the king's castle! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! And thus is born the girl squad. Sarah, Miracle, and Lemel. Yay! Whatever. I don't care. Just get out of here and let me go buy stuff. Seriously. Too many... What in the... Crap. I am getting lost, apparently. I want to go out the front door, not into another room. So, yay! Cool. 
Astral City uh, is the capital of this continent we're on, uh, the continent of Astral, so, yay. Let's see, hello and welcome, welcome indeed. More orders we can accept, none that we can turn in, apparently. <laughs> Why must there be stuff like this? Critical hit. That's a lot of money. I don't know if I want to do that. Map of Astral. I will buy two of these. You need two of them. Uh, they won't do anything now, but they're used for a side quest later on, so yeah, at least two of those. I don't even think you could use them uh, during... Uh, in any of the item creations, so... Eh. Ooh, 126 volt. Don't mind if I do. I think there are a couple of treasure chests up here. These treasure chests up here um, are very easily easily missed if you are going for 100% treasure chest. Uh, there are a whole bunch of treasure chests within the town too, so... Yeah, in buildings and all that. Some of the buildings you won't even go into during the main storyline of the game if you're just going along with the main storyline, so... It is recommend that you, recommended that you do explore around a little bit, especially since, well, it is an RPG for crying out loud. <laughs> Exploring comes with the package. Ah, this is the worst pun or pinch I've found myself in since opening the shop. That's right. I guess I'd better get myself sober first. Yeah, I can't even speak properly there. Good grammar, good English. Need that. Uh, we'll need to talk to her later on once we progress the story a little bit more, but eh, whatever. Why are you crying, little girl? I don't like to see little girls crying. And she's singing. Why is one girl singing, the other girl crying? I have no idea. Hey, do you have any offers that I could go in? Yes, you have one, the nectar. Sweet. I'm gonna go ahead and deliver that, might as well. As far as my notes say, we don't need the nectar for anything for a while anyway. And how about you? Ooh, bizarre fruit. Ugh. I actually like the bizarre fruit. But I shall give you some anyway. Whatever. Berries and all that, so cool. Yay, level up for them. And, uh, how about you? I'm glad the streets are safe and everything, but why can't they do anything about this horrible heat wave I've been having? Or we've been having. I'm just so hot out here. Really? I haven't really noticed anything. Uh, is that it? Is that seriously it as far as this town is concerned as shops? There's a treasure chest. A couple treasure chests, I see. I spy with my little eye a couple of treasures. Well, where is it? Over here. I can't read maps properly. Yay, swept hilt. Item creation. As always. If you actually see those little uh, items with symbols on it, uh, right next to item hilt, or right next to it, if it's a... Uh... Mm. Hello, phone. Thank you for going off right in the middle of commentary stuff. Ah, it's from my sister. Eh, I'll go ahead and get back to her later. Maybe during uh, in-between videos, but uh, there was one other treasure chest that I was trying to find. Where did it run off to? Um, why can I, why can not Edge run faster? Of course, it's down here. It all has to be down here. Hello, guards. Don't mind me. I'm just going the wrong way again. And this guy has a monster jewel. I have never really messed around with monster jewels, as I have said before. Um, as far as I have read up on them, the, all the best monsters are very late game. So it's just kind of like, why even bother with the monster jewels? Halt! I haven't seen you before. What do you want? 
Oh, hello there. How's the king doing? Well, if it isn't the charming Lady Sarah. Please, come right inside. I'm sure His Majesty will be delighted to see you. And, uh, we'll go ahead and, uh... You know what? Yeah, we'll go ahead and... We'll go ahead and do this. Might as well. Get another cutscene while we're at it in the same episode. Meh. Since there's multiple cutscenes... Welcome to my castle, Lady of the Sacred Wings. I trust the people of your enclave are well. Yes. They're all flapping around happily. <laughs> That's Lady Sarah for you. They seem more friendly with each other than I would have thought. Yeah, I guess these Featherfolk people, or maybe even just Sarah herself, are pretty special. So, Lady Sarah, I hear that your visit today is in regard to securing sickness remedy for these folk here? Yes, indeed. These people are my friends. Your friends, huh? My name is Edge Maverick, Your Majesty. We have come to humbly beg Your Majesty's aid in securing the remedy for our friend who has fallen ill. There's no need to be humble. The stone sickness remedy is readily available to all. Begin refinement of the medicine. Yes, sir. I'm afraid the refinement will take some time. Please, wait patiently, if you would. Thank you very much, Your Majesty. Incidentally, good king, there's something I'd like to ask you. And what might that be? Has anything unusual happened here lately? Unusual? Such as? Yes, well... Like the ancient archfiend rising and doing all kinds of awful things in secret or something? Uh, now I've heard it all. Sarah certainly is most unpredictable. Well, I know I'd certainly prefer it if this archfiend kept all his awful deeds a secret. Mmm, yeah. So, what's an archfiend? If you don't know, Limo, then don't chime in, alright? Bleh. Just as your friend has succumbed to the stone sickness, there have been signs of an impending epidemic. Here in Astral, some have already begun to show symptoms. We will need to use far more of the remedy than in recent years. That sounds like a problem. What is worse, the seas are rough and ships often cannot reach our shores. The raw materials needed for the remedy are beginning to dwindle. Moreover, there have been reports of a suspicious group appearing throughout the country. Oh, Edge and his friends perhaps? Huh? Is that how you think of us? As it happens, Lady Sarah. The reports relate to that jest of yours from a moment ago. Oh? Asmodeus. Yes, a group has arisen which worships the Archfiend of ages past. They call themselves the Church of Sidene. They've been causing unrest, proclaiming that only the Archfiend's resurrection can save the world. They wear gray robes that conceal themselves from head to toe. But all they do is worship the Archfiend. Strictly speaking, none of their actions are illegal. The Archfiend's resurrection... Sarah? Sarah looks a little hale, okay? Hale? You mean like hearty? That's pale. I'm sorry, I did not mean to disturb you so. Please, relax until the remedy has been prepared. Someone show our guests to their quarters. 